The Yukon Striker, once completed, will be the world's fastest, tallest, and longest dive coaster. If you can't discern it from the name, a dive coaster is a coaster that dives, or at least has one or more near vertical drops that make the passengers experience free falling. The 3,625 foot long coaster is now being built at Canada's Wonderland in Toronto, and it should be completed in 2019. When it's completed, the dive coaster will be 245 feet tall and be capable of reaching 80 miles per hour. The virtual ride alone is enough to get you sick. I can't wait to ride the real deal. The record-breaking Yukon Striker lasts about three minutes and 25 seconds, and it was designed by Bolliger and Mabillard, a roller coaster design consultancy based out of Switzerland. Between this and the new Batman ride coming to California, we'll just start mapping out our family excursions appropriately. Real deal. A team of students from the Queensland University of Technology have reinvented the tape measure. They call it the Macron, and it could benefit many of the 285 million visually impaired people around the world. The smart tape intuitively measures and records the data and even provides audio feedback. For their efforts, the Australian team has won a regional 2018 James Dyson Award, along with about $2,500. They now have a chance to win nearly 40 grand at the international level. The team was inspired by a team member who is not only blind, but frustrated because he can't renovate his house. One of the biggest challenges was seeing the markings on a tape measure. The Macron takes the measurement and relays it to your mobile device via Bluetooth. You can also use the app to preset the object and distances to be measured, and you can also use voice commands. The hope is that the smart tape measure not only makes it easier for home repairs, but it opens up new opportunities for the blind and visually impaired in industries that they were typically shut out of. Next, the team plans to commercialize the project, which could prove to be more lucrative than any award. Although, I'm sure they won't be too upset if they pocket that 40K with the international award. Real deal. An amateur engineer has spent eight years working on a flying car. And this month, he finally flew it. Kix Mendiola. His name is Kix. Conducted the first successful test flight of an ultralight aircraft that he calls Concepto Millennia. In the footage of the flight, Mendiola flies about 25 feet over the ground and, more importantly, safely lands. The single-seater prototype is essentially a large-scale octocopter drone. It's battery-powered and it takes about 2.5 hours to charge, but that only gives you the power to fly for at most 15 minutes. In earlier versions of the craft, Mendiola was working on a hoverboard version that was remote controlled. Now this version is a little bit safer than balancing above eight propellers. I mean, at least now he's in a cockpit. Next, Mendiola wants to move to manufacturing and mass produce a two-seater version of the aircraft. I mean, it might need a few improvements along the way as the max payload is only about 175 pounds and it tops out around 35 miles per hour. What's most impressive is that Mendiola is self-taught, teaching himself both engineering and aircraft design. Based in the Philippines, Mendiola predicts that flying cars, like the Concepto Millennia, will be the main form of transportation in the next five years. I mean, for that to happen, they might need a little more range than about nine miles. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.